What's up everybody? It's me here. Welcome to another video of mine. Camera isn't working right now, so I'm gonna be using my iPhone to record this. Today, I'm gonna be hopping on one of those YouTube challenges. As in the title, you guys could see that I'm gonna be ordering every donut at Tim Hortons. Shout out to all my Canadians out there. Someone's coming, someone's coming, someone's coming. Oops. The first Tim Hortons was built in this city. So shout out to all my Hamiltonians. I know that you guys live all around the world, but comment down below, what is your favorite donut? So if you ever visit Canada, go to Tim Hortons and try the ice caps. It's the best frozen drink. It's so refreshing on a hot summer's day. Get the apple fritter because that's my favorite donut. I'm gonna drive to Tim Hortons and order all the donuts that they have. It's getting really hot in this car, so I have to leave soon. Be right back, I'll show you guys what I buy in a second. Hi, can I help you? Hi there, can I get a box of assorted donuts? How many? The dozen. A dozen? Yep. And then another half dozen. I wanna have every donut that you guys have. Okay. And a small ice cap. And that's everything. Thank you, please. Thank you. Got the ice cap. It is very good. And then the donuts here. We got the powdered with the jelly filled. I think it might be strawberry or raspberry. The honey dip. The chocolate glaze. The sour cream glaze. People usually order this when they come to Tim Hortons. An old fashioned plain, which is a plain ass donut a chocolate coconut i know my donuts because i used to work there back in high school it's one of my first jobs and then in the big dozen box i thought they were gonna give me different types but it's okay got the boston cream maple the canadian maple that's what it's called uh another jelly filled i think with sprinkles on top, the apple fritter, another sprinkle donut, chocolate dip, a double chocolate, I think that's what it's called, I forgot. Another honey dip, a honey cruller, another coconut, and then old fashioned chocolate dip, and then a maple dip. I guess they didn't give me every single donut that they had. I'm gonna head home and set everything up, and you guys will see my face again, yeah. So I am back home where it's air conditioned. Donuts are not gonna melt. I've been taking a look at them since I showed you guys in the car. So hopefully all the icing is still there and everything. So let me just open it here. This one looks fine because there's no icing on it. But this one, I'm uh, Oh, okay. The Boston cream's a little melted. The chocolate dip is. There's little crackings on it. My ice cap melted in the car, so I drank it before I got back home. Let me just start off with a basic donut. This is the honey dip. It's just a regular donut that is just glazed. Mm. This used to be my favorite donut. Yes, I used to be a basic donut. Keep in mind, I haven't ate some of these donuts in a while since I worked at Tim Hortons and I got sick of Tim Hortons stuff for a while because I kept seeing, kept smelling it. Let's continue on with this. I am gonna try the powdered donut. Let's see what is inside here. Not getting anything yet. Okay. Reach the middle. Yup. Which one is that earlier? I think this is the raspberry filled. The raspberry inside is a nice fruity addition. I really like these donuts. This is the next donut. It is the chocolate glaze. It's very soft and very moist inside. That is a nasty word, moist. Not a big fan of these chocolate glazed donuts, but I know a lot of people do like this donut. And these are the most popular donuts that they have there. Me, I'm not a big fan of these sour cream glaze. Let's try it. I haven't tried these in a long time. It has kind of a similar taste to cheesecake, I would say. The donut is very crumbly, glazed with sugar. Next item I'm gonna try is this chocolate 
coconut. I see the sugar as well in here. Mmm. I like how there is toasted coconut shavings on it. It adds a nice crunch. <laughs> this donut kind of looks like a butthole. This is the old-fashioned plane. Here's a hack for you if you have a dog and you go through drive through Tim Hortons. Ask for a old-fashioned plane Timbit for your dog. Most of them I know would give it to you for free, but try that out. If you're there for a treat yourself, might as well get your dog a treat as well. I know that they didn't give me every single donut that they have, but this is what they have in stock. I know that there's many more donuts like Walnut Crunch. There's also a Blueberry Fritter. I think in season right now are Lemon Donuts. Other times there's Blueberry Donuts. So if you come across blueberry donuts or blueberry timbits at Tim Hortons I recommend to get that that is bomb it's like one of my other favorite things to get there honey cruller a really wrinkly blenched butthole that's so wrong to say the last time I tried this it was very spongy inside and it tasted very airy this is the apple fritter it has some cinnamon in it apple bits and it's glazed as well. Mmm, it's so good. This one is my family's favorite donut too. I don't know what this one is filled with, but this has sprinkles and some icing on top of it. It's jelly filled as well. It's a very pretty looking donut. Mmm, has that greeny texture because of the sprinkles and it's strawberry filled. Here we're going in with the Canadian maple. I love these donuts too. It has some cream filling inside. Mm. Did I even reach it? Let's see. Look at the inside of this donut. Ooh. Yeah. Next one is the just a regular sprinkled donut. Look at the colors on that yellow, white, and pink. Tastes just like this donut, but it's not filled. This is the old fashioned plain dipped old fashioned plain donut with some chocolate fondant on top of it. Maple dip. This is the donut you order if you want a lighter version of the Canadian maple. It does not have any filling inside. Another one of my favorites, chocolate dip donut. Sometimes when I'm craving chocolate on my period, I just get one of these. Last but not least, I am going to be eating the Boston cream. From my face, the Boston cream. What I remember working at Tim Hortons, the two famous donuts that people order a lot is the Boston cream and then, like I said, the sour cream glaze. This is David's favorite donut at Tim Hortons. Mm. See? There we go. Hey, right now, since I tasted all of them, I'm going to do something a little more crazier. And I'm going to stack all of these donuts that I bought in one and try to take it in all bite. So I get a mouthful of every single one of them. It'll be a little messy, messy, messy. I'm probably going to end up smashing it. Uh-oh. Do I get that yet? Here we go. Oh, oh, no. Shaking. My hand is shaking right now. Leaning. Lay them down on the side and then try to pick it up at the end. I don't have that donut. Don't have this one either. Oh, my favorite. Don't have that one. Oh, my hands are getting gritty. This is gonna look nasty too. Try to squeeze that one in there. And then I'm gonna pick it up. Oh, shoot. All right. All right. Get out, there's so much weight in the middle now. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Tim Hortons, I'm making it look nasty. It's probably over a thousand calories right now. Trying 10 donuts in under one bite. So it looks disgusting. It's a ball of diabetes basically, but I do not recommend it. Just savor the donuts individually. Tim Hortons, I know they wouldn't be happy seeing this. I'm gonna probably share it to my family. They're probably not gonna eat it. That concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed me mashing up the donuts and ordering every single one at Tim Hortons. Follow me on my Instagram account at NHI underscore V0 if you wanna see more. Since you're here, click that subscribe button. I hope you guys have an amazing day.
I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna go wash my hands now. Bye guys!